Hi everyone, it's Miss Clark. We are going to read the book Moldy Locks and the Three Beers. This is a book series. This is number one in the book series, Princess Pink and the Land of Fake Believe. Uh, this is a very popular book. And uh, next year in the Longwood Library, you can check it out. They have them in the Longwood Library. You would just look under the chapter books and J for Jones. That's the last name of our author, Noah Z. Jones. He not only wrote the story, the book, he also is the illustrator. Remember, this is called the front cover. It always has our title, our author, and if there's an illustrator, this is called the spine. And here you can see it's telling us this is book number one. This is the first one in the book series. And then on the back, we have our summary. We have our summary. Okay, I'm actually not going to read our summary because I don't want to give away too much information, but we know the summary is a little bit about the book. When we open it up here, we know that this is our title page, right? Our title page, again, always has our title, our author, and if there's a separate illustrator. And here it says for Eli and Sylvie, remember that's called a dedication page. Not every book has a dedication page, but some books do. And then here I can see the copyright is in 2014. That tells us when the book was written. All right, let's go ahead and count the chapters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chapters in our table of contents in our book. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And of course, while we're reading, we're going to remember to use our reading strategies, making predictions, uh, asking questions, um, making uh, envisioning or visualizing, making connections, either text to text or text to self connections. So we've got a lot of strategies we can use. Chapter one, meet Princess. This is Princess Pink. Her first name is Princess her last name is Pink. That's an unusual name. Princess Pink does not like fairies. She does not like princesses. And she really does not like the color pink. Boy, they really want us to know that. Princess Pink does like dirty sneakers, giant bugs, mud puddles, monster trucks, and cheesy pizza. So it seems like her name doesn't fit her very well. She doesn't like the things that you think of with someone of the name of princess. She likes things that are very different than that. Her parents named her princess because they were so excited to finally have a baby girl. Princess has seven older brothers. Oh my gosh, she has seven siblings. Penn, Patty, Parker, Paul, Pete, they must be twins, Perry, Philip. Do you notice something about all of her brother's names? <laughs> yep, me too. They all start with P and her name also starts with princess. So her mom and dad were finally so happy to have a girl they named her princess. After tucking her in her seven sons, princess's mother peeked her head into princess's room. Time for bed, princess. Wait a minute. Where is your pink fairy princess dress? It was right here. Let's remember what we know about princess. She doesn't like pink and she doesn't like princess things. Hmm. So her mom is asking her where her princess, pink fairy princess dress is. And this is what princess says. I fixed it. She's holding up some scissors and it looks like some paint. Oh my gosh. What is your prediction? What do you think she did to her dress? Maybe close your eyes here and envision or visualize, make a picture of it in your mind. What did princess do to that dress? See, I turned it into a cowboy caveman outfit so I can hunt dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, look at her poor mom. The fairy princess dress had been cut into thin ribbons and taped together in places. Princess had even colored it in with a brown marker. Boy, it doesn't look anything like a pink fairy princess dress. Princess's mother sighed. <sighs> she did not know what to say. So she just said, good night, my little cowboy caveman. Princess's mother turned off the light. Looks like her mom wishes that she was more girly and liked princess things, but that's not what princess likes. Princess's tummy made a funny grumbly noise. Grumble, grumble. 
Whoa, Tommy, don't worry. I will hunt down something yummy for you. I bet a lot of you can make a text to self connection here where you've been hungry and you've gotten out of bed to go get some food. Princess tiptoed down the hallway and slipped into the kitchen. She was about to open the refrigerator, but then she stopped. The fridge always made a hum sound, like a cat purring. But the fridge wasn't humming now. Princess put her ear to the fridge. She heard the strongest sound, tweet, tweet. Oh my goodness. Have you ever put your ear up to your refrigerator and it went tweet, tweet, like a bird? No, right? Usually fridges make just this sound. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I wonder what her, she's going to find when she opens the refrigerator door. Thinking that a bird had somehow gotten stuck in the fridge, Princess yanked the door open. That means she pulled it open really hard. Instead of green bean casserole, Princess saw green rolling hills and soft white clouds. A giant purple polka dotted bird was flying across a sunny sky inside Princess's fridge. Princess leaned way in to get a better look. Oh my goodness. I hope you cannot make a text to self connection here that this is what you've seen if you've ever opened your refrigerator. So it looks like the things in the door of her refrigerator are normal, but this is what she sees. Wow, she says. Now she's leaning in to get a better look. Think about when you lean forward to look at something. Oh my gosh, I wonder what's going to happen. And I wonder what has happened to her fridge. I see a rainbow, I see a castle. There's the bird that was making that tweeting sound. Then she fell right through her fridge. Okay, we're going to keep reading into chapter two, but I want you to notice something about Princess as she's falling. So it looks like this is her refrigerator door and she's falling down into something. Chapter two, falling down, down, down. Princess did not remember falling. She also did not remember landing on a moose. Oh my goodness. Again, what do you notice about Princess as she's falling? From her fridge. Remember, she was looking inside of her refrigerator door and she leaned forward and now she's fallen through. The moose prodded his hat back into its proper shape. Hello there, little girl. I'm Mother Moose. Wait, you're Mother Goose? No, I'm a moose with an M, not a goose with a G. Mother just happens to be my first name. And you are? I'm Princess Pink, but I'm not a princess. Princess just happens to be my first name. Am I still inside my refrigerator? No, yes, well maybe. You are in the land of fake belief. Oh my gosh, so two things here. You might know from when you were smaller, um, there were Mother Goose's nursery rhymes, like Jack and Jill went up the hill. But instead of Mother Goose, this is Mother Moose. And Mother Moose is telling Princess she's in the land of fake belief. Remember what our series, book series was called, Princess Pink and the Land of Fake Belief. Hmm. A girl came running over. She had just seen Princess fall from the sky. Are you guys okay? I'm Moldylocks, who are you? I really like this because this is what Princess said, right? This is her talking bubble, but this is her thought bubble. So she says, I'm princess. And then this is what she's thinking. Moldylocks, that name doesn't sound quite right. Princess thought Moldylocks looked like she had slept in a swamp for weeks. Now, hopefully you remember the fairy tale or you know the fairy tale Goldilocks and the three bears. Well, our character's name here is Moldylocks. And if you're not sure what the word mold means mold is when usually food goes bad. It starts to spoil. So I'm going to just show you a picture here. Mold. This is an orange that's starting to mold. You can probably think of a food that you've seen before that has started to go bad. So it gets a little bit of mold on it. So her name is Moldy Lux. And Princess Pink even says she looks like she had slept in a swamp for weeks. She's got green hair. It looks like her dress is moldy. Oh, this is so interesting in this land of fake belief. Your hair is green. Your hair is pink. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at, do you remember how after the end of chapter one, I said, what do you notice about Princess Pink? 
from when she fell into this land, her hair color changed. My hair is pink. I can't stand pink. Remember, we also learned that on the very first pages about Princess Pink, and now her hair has turned pink. Oh boy. Princess's hair had turned pink the moment she entered the land of fake belief. I think it looks kind of cool. The girls smiled at each other. Then Princess's stomach let out a loud grumble. Grumble, right? If you've ever been hungry, sometimes we call it your stomach grumbles or it growls. And that's how this all started. Remember, Princess was hungry when she went to bed and she got up to get something from the refrigerator. Do you know where I can get something to eat? I know just the place. Follow me. So it looks like Moldilocks is going to take her to someplace to get something to eat. Um, when we were reading this in our Zoom classes, Emma noticed this little peanut running by in the land of fake belief. <laughs> Moldilocks grabbed Princess's hand. Princess had to run to keep up. Remember, this is her thought bubble. Where is this girl taking me? Lots of interesting things here in the land of fake believe. It almost looks like this, this hillside is a rainbow of water. It looks like there's some little elves or gnomes, some bunnies, a snail, some mushroom caps. It looks like there's a scarecrow waving. There's a river. There are flowers that have houses on top. So a very interesting land of fake believe. Hmm, chapter three, a zany house. Zany means bizarre or crazy or unusual or weird. So that will be our next chapter that we read.